with uh, sago palms, uh, which really are not palm trees, they're uh, cycads, and I won't go into the, the whole family type thing, but in southern Japan they're native, and um, they use them a lot in landscaping. They make an interesting accent plant, they're not really bonsai. Uh, but if you read John Naka's books, which we all should and have, uh, Techniques 2, he talks about sago palms. And his way of, of training them was to take several palms, cut the sides, and he would use a, a spike, and he would drag them together, tie them all together to make multiple trunks. I was interested in uh, multiple trunks too, and uh, my friend, the good landscaper, Fred knows him, uh, Frank Kogi, uh, uh, landscaped his uh, sago palms by using the technique of cutting the fronds off and slicing open the top of the, the palm, and then they would puff like this. This one now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all coming out, which originates like this. Um, when, I, when I started those, uh, though they were in the ground, I'd take this. This was at Anderson's La Costa Nursery for $8. So, I mean, you can't lose. Uh, grew it in the ground for uh, a year, and then um, this is a little bit late in the season, but cut all the fronds off. And then, very careful, my glasses are on with this mouth. Um, then I killed the top with about three cuts right through that little spiral that's coming up like this. So by killing that top, these are such great survivors. They're like Mesozoic age uh, uh, plants, dinosaur. This won't grow right here, but they will have a tendency to throw several pups trying to survive. And so therefore you end up with something like this, started with one, one tree. We'll put this in the uh, raffle too. Uh, I don't know if it'll survive, but uh, what in the world? Um, then the other thing that John said in his book was, if you wanted to make these really interesting, you could take wires like this, and you can put them on the fronds, and just stick them into the pineapple here, like this. And you can get them to grow down like that, and they'll get this graceful flow like that and come back up. But you need to do that when you're at this stage right here, when you're really young. So that was a real quick sago palm cycad. Uh, I think it's worth trying. Uh, to find it. At the beginning of, I did this in April, and so they're just coming out now. That one that I gave away there, uh, don't give up on it. It might take a year for it to pop, but uh, it will. Yeah, these uh, I think I cut the fronds off first week in April. So how? How, how long have you been working on that? My buddy, too. <laughs> yeah, how long have you, no, but how long have you been? This has actually been, um, at one time I had a property where I, I wanted to, like everybody else did, wanted to have a long time nursery. Mm -hmm. uh, and I planted a hundred of these in the ground, um, all from liner size, like that small one. And that's been probably 15 years, about 15 years to this. And it's, it's fun because they change every year. You get uh, uh, this one's just back here, just starting to this one's just starting to pop. This one's coming out here. So they're in constant changing. Okay, so that's it for warm up with uh, sago palms.